Thousands of Turks demonstrated in Ankara and Istanbul yesterday, Sunday, to protest against the high prices and the increase in the poverty rate and to denounce the economic policies of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, which caused the collapse of the country's currency, and demanded his resignation. While the head of the Democratic and Progress Party, former Deputy Prime Minister, Ali Babakan, expressed his remorse for his silence on the policies of Erdogan and the Justice and Development Party after leaving office in 2015. In parallel, the Turkish authorities arrested officials and members of the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, claiming their links to terrorism. Thousands gathered in Istanbul, in response to the call of the Federation of Public Service Trade Unions to gather in Istanbul and the capital, Ankara, to protest the policies of Erdogan and his government, which led to the deterioration of the living conditions of the Turkish people. The demonstrators denounced the high prices and the recent poor living conditions due to the sharp rise in foreign exchange rates and the collapse of the Turkish lira. The demonstrators chanted slogans calling for the resignation of the government and the improvement of living conditions, stressing that the people will hold the Justice and Development Party government headed by Erdogan accountable. The Turkish police imposed a tight security cordon around the demonstrators and prevented them from leaving their gathering areas. Various Turkish cities are witnessing continuous protests against the deteriorating living conditions in the country, and thousands of people gathered in the states of Diyarbakir, Southeast, and Izmir, West, to protest against the deteriorating economic conditions and poor living conditions. Hundreds of students in the state of Igdir, eastern Turkey, protested the increase in transportation tariffs and food prices. Erdogan had announced, last week, raising the value of the minimum wage in the country to 4,250 lira, $258, from 2850 lira, but the new increase does not correspond to the sharp and continuous decline in the value of the Turkish lira, which has lost more than 50% of its value. It was trading at 17 pounds to the dollar, while inflation rose to 21.3% while Erdogan continues to pressure the central bank to continue cutting interest rates. For his part, the head of the Republican People's Party, the largest Turkish opposition party, Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu renewed his demand to go to early parliamentary and presidential elections as soon as possible, and not to wait until the elections scheduled for the summer of 2023, and warned of chaos in the country, if silence continues. On the Collapse of the Economy Erdogan and his ally head of the Nationalist Movement Party, Devlet Bosley, refused to go to early elections. In turn, the head of the opposition Democratic and Progress Party, former Deputy Prime Minister Ali Babakan, 
who succeeded in making a leap in the Turkish economy from 2002 when the Justice and Development Party took power until he left the government in 2015, expressed his regret for his decision not to interfere in politics. After leaving the government, Babakan admitted that he did not succeed in warning of the dangers of the ruling Justice and Development Party's plans to switch to a presidential system of government in 2017, due to his decision not to interfere in politics, saying, I knew they would drag Turkey into disaster. I made a decision not to talk. But I wish I had spoken so loudly. Babakan added, in a press interview, that preparations for the constitutional amendments that facilitated the transition to the presidential system began six months after declaring a state of emergency following the failed coup attempt that occurred on July 15, 2016 pointing out that the truth and content of those constitutional amendments were hidden. For the public and quickly approved in Parliament, Babakan, who launched the Democracy and Progress Party last year after his 2019 resignation from the AKP, expected poverty to spread further due to the crisis caused by the devaluation of the lira and increased inflation. He held the government responsible for the current economic situation in Turkey, adding that people would understand the consequences of the crisis on their lives in the next few months. Poverty will spread and the gap between the rich and the poor will widen. He stressed that early elections should be held immediately to get out of the economic crisis, but said Erdogan would not agree to them, as he was unlikely to win under the current circumstances. On the other hand, the Turkish security forces arrested, in an extensive campaign, members and supporters of the opposition People's Democratic Party, the pro-Kurdish, during which 14 of them were arrested in Istanbul. The party said, in a statement, that the campaign came against the backdrop of the launch of the party's regional conference in Istanbul on December 12, noting that among the detainees were executive officials. Last month, the Turkish authorities announced the arrest of 18 people, including executives from the party, the second largest opposition party in the Turkish parliament, in four Turkish states on charges of belonging to the banned Kurdistan Workers' Party. At the same time, the Istanbul Public Prosecutor's Office said it had launched an extensive investigation against what it said was a slogan praising imprisoned PKK leader Abdullah Akalan, chanted at the HDP conference, in addition to singing a group of organizational anthems. Thousands of Turks demonstrated.